Welcome back. We are here looking at the cryptocurrency market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, April 20th, 2021. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new studios, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the Bitcoin, and if everybody saw my video on Friday, I basically said that we were fairly overstretched for most of the cryptocurrency market. Bitcoin was one of those cryptocurrencies that was basically not that overstretched compared to some of uh, like NEO and other cryptocurrencies or Dash. Uh, but Bitcoin really fell really hard on um, basically on Sunday session, but on Friday and also on, on Saturday. And today we have been basically just jumping around and have settled just underneath the 50 moving average, which is a fairly uh, big warning sign for, for Bitcoin. So what happened on, on Sunday is that we fell from, give or take, 60, 60k all the way down towards 51k. An absolutely enormous drop. But if we go back in time, we can go all the way back towards, this just looks like mini school now, all the way back towards uh, 2017, where we had this parabolical move here and uh, Bitcoin basically in one, one week lost half of its value so that can happen and that can happen for these cryptocurrencies this was an enormous rally so everybody was talking about bitcoin in this period here then it became a period where technically nobody really talked about it some of them talk about this basically a, a dying currency but now we have seen this enormous rally all the way down from four thousand dollars all the way up to the very high zero of $64,000 for Bitcoin. Yes, so this is fairly parabolical. We are in the weekly chart. We are not overbought as we have been in some periods, for example, here and here, and also back here and also here when we have been overstretched and overbought in the weekly. But at this moment, if we just look at the weekly chart, we could drop fairly significantly here. We could drop towards the middle of the bullish band, which is at uh, 33 k and if that breaks we can see this drop all the way down to 24k that is possible uh, technical indicators if you see on the weekly chart they are crossing the signal line so the last time we had a crossing of the signal line in the macd was all the way back here this was basically in in october last year when this rally started and we are having another crossing here and usually this takes quite a long time for going back in the weekly chart so if you have a crossing here, we could see this deteriorate significantly or just stay um, trading sideways for a fairly long time. Stochastic is also crossing the signal line. CCI is becoming uh, bearish and so is, the, is, so is the RSI. So if you look at the daily, we can see that we crossed significantly below the 50 moving average and the Bollinger Band. And at the moment, we have settled underneath the 50 moving average. And we have to go really far back in order to see a cell, um, a candlestick that basically closes underneath the 50 moving average. That's basically all the way back here in October where we were under the 50 moving average. So if you get another candlestick here, then the 50 moving average will no longer be um, support. It will most likely act as resistance and we'll have a crossing of the 20 exponential and the 50 moving average. And that is an um, additional warning sign that this market could um, go significantly lower. So let's look at Ethereum. So this is not as bearish as, uh, as the Bitcoin market. We can look at the Fibonacci retracements here and see that we technically found support down here at 61.8, the, uh, the Fibonacci retracement, and then pull back quite aggressively. We are continuing the falling down, but we are still settled above the, the 20 exponential moving average. So we're not trading underneath the 50 like we're doing in Bitcoin. And uh, this probably will go all the way down to the 50 moving average before going higher. If we rally from here, then we'll most likely target these previous highs again at 2114. Technical indicators, they are looking very bearish indeed. MACD is crossing the signal line, the stochastic has crossed the signal line, all of them are basically becoming bearish at this point. So momentum is to the downside, but this has also rallied quite significantly in the last few 
few weeks and uh, we got fairly overstretched and usually this basically pulls back as you can see here here and also way over here this tends to pull back towards the middle or the very bottom of the bullish band before going higher we're still in an uptrend and it's not looking as bearish as it is for bitcoin for example so let's look at cardano so Cardano also, uh, we got very overstretched here last week and had this has basically had a horrible weekend. So it fell all the way down to the very bottom of the bullish band and then bounced. And today we have additional fall, but we are settling in between the 50 and the 20 exponential moving average. Technical indicators are very bearish indeed. So we could see this drop below the 50 moving average, but it will most likely find major support down here at 1.05, which is basically the bottom of the bullish band. But if it settles underneath the 50, then we could see something similar, for example, with Bitcoin, where the 50 moving average will no longer act as support, it will act as resistance. So we bounce off, we rally towards the 50, and then we break down further. It will most likely also have a crossing of the 20 and the 50 if we see this uh, fall even further. So let's look at Litecoin. So Litecoin, uh, also yesterday uh, or on, on Saturday, it fell quite aggressively all the way down towards the middle of the bullish band and then bounce. And today we also fell towards the 20 exponential and then bounce. If you look at technical indicators for Litecoin, they are still very bearish and indeed still macd is in uh, bullish territory but the, the, the signal line is basically or it will most likely have a crossing of the signal line in one or day uh, if this basically continues uh, we have a crossing here in the stochastic we have see the see the cci is basically heading into negative territory and the rsi is basically flat at this current stage so this was a massive rally and this was always going to break down whether or not we found support here, that is to be seen in the next weeks. If this basically breaks, then we could uh, drop all the way down to the 50 at $209. And if you drop below that, we could head all the way down to 169 which is basically the bottom of the bullish band. But the 20 and the middle of the bullish band have offered support. As you can see, it is bouncing off that. So let's look at NEO. So this cryptocurrency um, basically has been all over the place. So we had this massive drop on Sunday and then rallied. And then we had an additional major rally up towards $131. And this is probably the, uh, due to the fact that the Chinese have relaxed their restriction on cryptocurrency trading. So they uh, imposed the major restrictions um, basically in 2017, if I remember right. And there was news today that basically have, they have relaxed those restrictions. And that probably is the reason why we saw this massive rally to the upside. So technical indicators, they are fairly mixed. Stochastic is bearish. It has crossed the signal line. MACD is bullish. CCI is bullish. And the, and the RSI is in very bullish territory. We are at 89 in the, in the RSI. And that could be a warning that we could break towards the 20 exponential down here at 70 or the middle of the bullish band at 60, um, 65 and if that breaks we could head all the way down to the 50 down here at 50 dollars but we are significantly overstretched significantly overbought so we could see a pullback similar to this one in the next few trading days so let's look at dash So Dash has completely fallen apart. I think I said this on Friday that this was a, not a really a good sign for, for Dash. And uh, yes, we basically, it fell roughly 20% on, uh, on, on Sunday, rallied, and today we continue this drop. We have found support down here at the middle of the bullish band at 275. But at this current stage, technical indicators are all turning around. So we could see this fall additional towards the 50 moving average at 238 or the very bottom down here at 200 dollars it doesn't look like a lot of um, momentum to the upside for any of these cryptocurrencies at this current stage but this is also the way that this has been behaving for mostly all of them so they have basically been rallying getting significantly overstretched and then just dumped and then we have a period where nothing really happens and then it rallies again and then just done. 
So this is a slightly kind of uptrend, but uh, extremely risky. So when these things get outside of the bullish band, that is basically a massive warning signs that they could basically um, drop significantly to the downside. And usually it's in the weekends that they do drop on Sundays and Saturdays uh, when they have these major pullbacks. So let's look at uh, from. So as you can see, we have found um, support down here at the 20 exponential down at uh, 0 0.123. Uh, we are probably just, if this basically breaks, then we'll head all the way down towards um, 0 0.1 or the 50 moving average that down here at 0 0.08. Technical indicators, they are all turning around. So they are very bearish indeed at this current stage. So MACD is crossing the signal line, Stochastic has crossed the signal line, CCI has become bearish, and so is the RSI. So if we bounce from here, then we'll most likely head back towards the previous highs, but this is kind of a warning sign that this move towards the downside probably is not over yet. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing, hit the like button, and the bell button to see our new videos, and you're welcome to join us over Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck, and thank you very much.